ngon quá yes. bún, bún bò Huế ngon bún quá bún bò Huế ngon quá Tell me. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say it and sound like a silly sausage if I say it. You know it. Bumba hui. Yeah. Ah, see. We're having bumba hui today. Actually, one. Sorry to interrupt. I did forget one thing. Yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah. Hey, Sue. There you go. Cheers. This is your dad's favorite, isn't it? This is, yeah, this is my dad's favorite. He likes this over pho. That's another kind of controversial thing is whether pho is people's favorite or whether bumba hoi is people's favorite. It's kind of split. It is something I've heard like mentioned in, within within your family as well. Yeah. It's like there's a, there's a, there's a, 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 a difference of opinion on uh, <laughs> on which is best and who yeah. likes which one be better. Yeah. Kind of I can't see for me that it would top pho at all. <laughs> I can't. It's kind of split down the middle in my family. So a lot of people love Bumba Hui and I think they're like, ooh, pho is, mm -hmm. you know, basic. Again, okay, how do you say it? This Zhao Gui. Nicely done. Ah. Thai basil? Yes, yeah, Thai basil. Well, a matter of opinion. <laughs> but I, I love. A matter of where you're I born. love. I'm not going to say basil. <laughs> well, I just did, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to continue to say. Just it. like it's you don't really like to say garage. You say garage. Garage. Yeah, I just like to pronounce things the right way. You know? yeah. Let's go for it with the uh, the old lemon there. Do you squeeze it or just bang it in? Okay, so just like little li little. Just spritz. a little suggestion of it. A little spritz. Oh god, I can see the blood cube. I'm slightly worried. Yeah, um, so we're gonna lead with the blood cube just to lure everybody in. The blood cube. So this is literally. I don't want to think about it. I'm just gonna bite it. I'm sure it's all right. Oh, that was an, a little bite there. That was nothing wrong with that at all. Good. Really? Yeah. This broth is very flavorful. Mm. So bumba hui is. I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, it's a beef-based broth. It's very flavorful. It's a little bit. Hint of spice. Like, I don't think that's spicy. I, could, I know what you're saying. There's like a little bit of heat in it. Yeah, it's just a little bit of kick. That pho doesn't really have, does it? You add, right. you add that to the pho. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I can, I can feel the kick. Yeah. yeah. So Bumbo has a little bit of like, mm. kick. So you know what? I'm liking it, babe. I'm liking very, it. You know what? I think this one's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Good, isn't it? Oh. Too I got it in the eye. Oh no. I'm sorry, little dumpling. It's okay. Mm. Is it yummy? Yeah, it's yummy. So this is Yah Hail. Yah Hail. Yah Hail. Yah Hail. Yah Hail. You know what? I never try this really when I have it in my Bumba Hui. Mm. I think it's just the look of it. You know? Yeah, it's the look of it. But don't judge a book by its cover, folks. Okay. Mm, I should not do that. The I noodles like are thicker. I feel like they're more fun to eat. I feel like it's in between like vermicelli and udon. I don't, I, and you say fun to eat as well. Uh -huh. you? You, oh, you're struggling. Which I quite like. I, I struggle. <laughs> I mean, look at that spoon there. You're struggling with it. And that spice is really good. It's just it's just, just a good amount of warmth in it. Right, right. Yeah, that's a good description. Warm and not like too spicy. It's yeah. not spicy. I feel like there's a lot more going on in Mumba, right? There's a lot more going on. Right. Yeah. So, if you've had Bumba Hui, and you've had that, tell us which one you like more. And why. Are you a pho stand or a bumba hui stand? <clears throat> or have you tried neither? In that case. Which one are you most interested in? Ooh. You go get yourself some. I, don't. I would mm -hmm. definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. So this phrase of the week is. I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. So, so if you're talking to me, you would say, and doi boom. And doi boom. So it's actually up down. And flat. And it's flat. Straight. Yeah. And doi boom. 
Well done! <laughs> in the Vietnamese language, we refer to ourselves as like the third person kind of. So like your N to me, so you would say N if you're referring to yourself. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. So I'm talking so, to you, so that's why it's confusing me because yeah, I'm talking yeah, yeah. to you but I'm referring to myself. Exactly. You know how to me you are a uh, babe. Yeah. So in English, you kind of say like, babe is hungry. You wouldn't say that. You'd say, I oh, am hungry. Yeah, right. But in Vietnamese, mm. you're, it's, you're saying, an dai boom. It's kind of like third person. Kind um, of. An, so well, an is kind of like I, but it's not. Like, I is actually a different word. But you are an to me. Okay, I So it's you. very like, Relative. It's just like the third person type. So like, yeah, Vietnamese is very relative depending on who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah. So to me, you're N. So to say, I'm hungry. To me, N is hungry. And then you can add a qua to it, which is... N dai bum qua. This is so funny for you, huh? You'd say it with such conviction. I'm trying. I love it. Trying. <laughs> Okay, so if there's anything about me, I, I, I do things, I'll, I'll try and do them to the best of my ability, mm -hmm. or whatever it is. I can't mm -hmm. half ass things. James has passion, that's for sure. Okay, for so sure. You added the, we added the qua at the end because it's like, very, I'm very hungry. Oh, right. Yeah. And doi bum qua. Qua. And doi bum qua. <laughs> qua. You don't go up. I'll get the hang of it. I'm going to send you to Vietnam on your own. <laughs> with no okay. phone and then you can start and then you can just whip it out without the Vietnamese I would love to be able to do that in about five years well I mean that's it we've got a long life babe so <laughs> you know by the end of it when I'm an old man in Vietnam mm. when we get a retirement house out there I would love to do something like that mm. it would be very beneficial for me to speak the language so look so, at this look at this oh right I definitely win again which means I could I could certainly Once dive again. in here and start attacking your gua no. What's it called? What? No. <laughs> okay. What? Look at look at James Bull versus mine. And I boom qua. Are you Vietnamese or something? Uh, working on it. Okay, and then when you're full. Oh yeah, yeah. You say an no roi. An no no roi. This is how you say this is delicious. Ngon qua. I know this one. Ngon okay. Yeah. So you're eating your bumba hue and you'd be like, mmm, ngon qua. Ngon qua? Ngon hum. Ngon mm. hum. So I'm asking you, is it good? <laughs> ngon hum. Yeah. And you say, ngon qua. Ngon qua? Yes. Bumba hue, ngon qua. Bumba hue, ngon qua. Hey! You say that to my, say that to my aunties, they will, they, they will be like, whoa, <sighs> yai qua? I feel like a lot of Vietnamese dishes, um, the names of things, they sound less appetizing than they actually are. Like fish sauce. Fish sauce doesn't sound appetizing. Fish sauce, fish sauce does not sound appetizing. No, no but it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> there you go. It's a, Great it, with popcorn. Two for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. So over Christmas, James and my uncle, who's his like favorite uncle, Ju Hui, they got drunk and then came up with this amazing, like, it's just recipe. like out of the box idea. <laughs> out of the box recipe <laughs> called Nook Mum Popcorn. Yeah, yeah. So you can <laughs> imagine what that is, Carrie. But what it is, it's just chewy. Dipping popcorn in fish sauce. Yeah, and I and I, but it's, just, it's good if you like the taste of fish sauce. And popcorn absorbs it really well. You still get the crunch with it. Yeah, it isn't bad. That's why I think we were on. To, okay, we, like, so, at the time, and we we had been drinking for several <laughs> hours, but we did think that we were on to something with it. I think we got our Vietnamese dumplings. How sweet are they? Thank you, my British dumpling. <laughs> Sometimes I can chop them in half with the chopsticks. There, and then that's a better size. Right there. I think it's fun to eat too. These are fun. These are huge. It's a big mouthful, that, isn't it? I like the dumpling sauce that it comes with. It's very good, that. Mm. It's really good. Mmm. It's a good dumpling, that. Mm -hmm. mm. The sauce is really good, though. I feel like this sauce is better for the dumplings than the... Yeah, you're probably right. 
It's a good bloody dumpling, is that? I like how we just grab fish sauce as we well. Just grab it, yeah. Just <laughs> I can say any excuse to care better. Mm. Good, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. These really hit the spot. I feel like not all dumplings hit the spot for me. They're really good, these. And it's just a filling, isn't it? And the, and the, the pastry, even though it's like. Mmm. It's like the thickness of it. Yeah. Ha cow. Nyan tit. Nyan tit. Mm -hmm. Hi, gal. You're losing. I'm losing my yeah. tit. You're losing your tit. There you go. You're losing your meat. Losing my marbles. I lose my marbles sometimes. Same. <laughs> Same. Nothing. He contains my marbles. He tries. I'm doing a pretty good job, right? You know what? I tried to make dumplings for the first time the other night <clears throat> with my team at work. I failed miserably. You were very, very no, encouraging. Not easy the first time. I know. James was very encouraging. He's like, don't be so hard on yourself. Do you know what the difficulty I, was? It was like, it was getting them to, to, the, to, to pinch up like that. Yeah, it was the folding and the pinch, pinch, pinch. And you know how in Crazy Rich Asians, he goes, you put the Botox in the, you know, whatever. And then you pinch, pinch, pinch. Mm, no. <laughs> But I got you the uh, I got you the uh, the tongs, and I was like, just pinch them with the <laughs> tongs. Like, no one's looking, no one can see. It's like just cheating. like pinch them with the tongs. But I want to learn how but to that work. Really. Well, it's kind of like the it's cheating. It's kind of like the cheating kind of. Oh, you, you could know, just get a chopstick version. then, and then you could just go. You could just like pinch it with a chopstick like that. I think it was just like it was like a pinch and twist. It was so yeah. The instructor did it so well. It was like pinch, pinch, pinch. I feel like you're better than I am in the kitchen. Okay. If I'm hungry, I'm, I'm better. No, but I even like the way you cut things or <clears> shape <throat> them. James is pretty good. Well, I'm in construction. I'm a, I'm a builder, so yeah, that's true. It kind of translates, doesn't it, with mm. with uh, amounts and tools and stuff. Just a different set of tools. Like any construction is the same, but it's just a different set of tools. James, boy, Tiffany, na, na roi, bumba hui, nong kwa, bumba hui, kwa. We'll see when. I don't know when this is coming out. We're still new at this. But. When are you, whenever you get a chance to edit it, babe, innit? We'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for joining. Endoi boom kwa. Endoi boom. No. Endoi boom kwa.